right, Liz and Annie here again, making another installment of how to get proficient with Zoom to help everyone get on the same page and ready for online teaching in spring quarter. So today we're gonna show you how to use a really helpful feature within the screen sharing option for a Zoom room. So today I'm joined by, of course, Annie and uh, populating my Zoom room as pretend students are my colleagues, Kate and Kalina. So welcome everyone and thank you very much for coming to class. Um, so what I'm going to do is use my iPad. So I have an iPad. You could do this with any tablet, but I only have an iPad. So I'm just going to show you on this. And I want to be able to like freehand draw notes or annotate things or maybe write out equations or draw a picture or diagram like a model or something like that um, while I'm teaching, while I'm lecturing in the Zoom format, while I'm broadcasting live or asynchronously out to my whole class. So how can I do that without sitting here holding my iPad screen up and trying to show students what I have on it. Well, Zoom actually has a feature that makes this much easier than that, which is great. So I'm gonna come down here to the screen share option, click on that. And then I have an option right here under basic for iPhone. So you can do this on your phone too, which is great. iPad via AirPlay. So I have two Mac devices, so I'm just gonna do it via AirPlay. And I click share. Uh, I get a pen wheel, thanks for a second. Now, on, on my iPad, it's telling me to connect to the Wi-Fi network that I have here at my house, so I'm already connected. And I want to tap screen mirroring, so if you have an iPad, you can drag it, drag the little like corner thing down, thing down from the corner so you get the settings, and screen mirroring is right here. So I know this is awkward to show you like this, but tap screen mirroring. <clears throat> and then I'm clicking Zoom Liz, because I'm in Liz's Zoom room, so I click on that. Okay, so now you can see my you guys can see that, right? Can see like the screen, let me, let me do that, let me do that. Now you can see the screen on my iPad with news alerts about coronavirus, cool. Okay, <clears throat> so I already have my notes app open because this is what I would use to do anything freehand. I have a stylus, an Apple Pencil. You can also do this with your finger if you have an app that's set up to do it like that. So just so I can illustrate like what you can do with this screen sharing. I have terrible handwriting, which is why I don't normally use a whiteboard in any of my classes, but if you really want to do it. Can you guys read that? Is it projected the right way or is it turned around? You can read it? Okay. So it's totally. Just, yeah. Right. Awesome. I can use this for all kinds of things, whatever you would use your tablet to do. Like I could draw this, I could make it different colors if that were important for something I was illustrating in the lesson. Okay, so uh, whatever app it is that you're using on your tablet to show this kind of like freehand annotation stuff, you obviously would need to get familiar with that offline uh, and figure out what would be the best method or approach for what you wanna to show to your students. But this is a super easy way to be able to use a feature that's like a whiteboard without having to have a physical whiteboard behind you that you're turning around and writing on, or uh, the whiteboard feature within Zoom, which is a little bit clunky because you'll probably have to use your mouse to navigate around. So you'll just be kind of like clicking and dragging instead. Okay, so good luck with that new skill and we will see you guys soon for more videos.